Hello everyone, this is Poom here, back with another gameplay video. Uh, today we are playing Pike into Yumi. So as I showed you guys in the last video, we are gonna start Sweeper in this game and we are, are trying to push our lead in the early game. We are trying to hold bush control and we are trying to um, just kill them or make them blow summoners. And then on the bounce back, we definitely want to play super aggressive and try to get a kill, try to get something. So here I'm gonna walk up, charge my Q. Uh, might have not been the play there to flash, but that's all right. So we got all of his sums here. I might just look for a Q. Boom, he's dead. Easy peasy. So this person was completely disrespecting the pike range, um, showing us where he's recalling. And I was able to punish without even using flash. Here I'm not really gonna base, I don't have anything to buy. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna stay in lane, just gonna get uh, bush control. And now my Kai'Sa has a full uh, longsword advantage. So that's very, very helpful for us to be able to kill them in the bot lane. Actually, uh, yeah, they did. we did need a leash, so because he started E, I didn't. I completely zoned out. I didn't know that um, it was a Gragas jungle. So here I'm gonna try to maybe maybe poke the Yumi. Okay, never mind. The Yumi. The Yumi just went inside. So a reminder that their AD does have a jump here. So I'm gonna walk up behind him. I'm gonna charge my Q. Just gonna auto because we win. So there I didn't throw my Q because I didn't really see an angle to even hit it. Uh, he does have jump so I didn't want to pull him uh, backwards so he could jump away. Uh, looking back at it, I think I could have just walked up and just melee queued him and we could probably kill. Here I'm just going to look for Yumi. Not a hit. That's alright. Back in the bushes guys. Always the bushes. Our best friends when we are playing Pike. The bushes. So here I'm going to walk up under the turret, I'm just going to QE, uh, that's all I'm doing, I'm just going to Q, and then I'm just going to, okay I missed, so I'm just not going to do anything. If you miss, I'm just going to get a plate here, hit the tower, get a plate, maybe hit a Yumi here, yep, perfect, easy kill, going to help my ADC run away. gonna hide in the bush here gonna use a potion he's pretty tanky he has uh, probably not scaling HP but base HP so I'm gonna charge my Q because he's in range here that's his jump perfect we get his jump so his jump is a longer cooldown than my spells so now on my next uh, on my next Q what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna W um, I'm gonna wait for the minions to arrive because I don't want to risk anything. So I'm gonna wait for the minions. I'm gonna wait for the minions. Once the cannon minion starts attacking the enemy minions, I'm just gonna walk up here. Walk up here. Q. Oh, so he. Unfortunately, their jungler is here. I did not expect that, but that was pretty well played by them. They use cleanse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make I'm just gonna make it hard for them to crash. Oh, the Yumi actually hit that. I can't really kill them because they have still um Well, he's dead. <laughs> that was funny. Get the cannon for my ADC. Now I'm gonna charge my base. I have a um a Dirk here in the, in the recall. I'm gonna go look to help my jungler. I have a very good base here. This is a very very good base. I'm 
probably won't need my help. Looks like uh, he can do them very well. So I'm just gonna maybe look for a quick, quick, quick uh, mid gank. Gonna charge my W because there's a ward here or there's a minion. Gonna go. I'm gonna hide here because they no one saw me still. So if the Ari walks back up here, I'm gonna ping my ADC. Be careful. I'm gonna. I want him to charge his tornado. I'm here. I'm here to help. Gonna try to deny the cannon. Alright, we denied the cannon, so now I'm going back bot. So now I see what they're doing, so I'm just gonna assume that they warded somewhere in our jungle. So I'm just gonna start my sweeper here. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Let's see if they warded. Yep, there we go. Find their vision, deny them vision, and just make them feel the pressure on this layer. I'm gonna W here, I'm gonna walk up melee range. I'm just gonna short Q. There we go. We got everything. We got his jump, we got um, Yumi Q. Now on my next W here. Four seconds. I'm just gonna walk up here. If he wants this minion, he's gonna have to lose something for it. Now I'm gonna E here probably. I'm gonna look for an E and a Q. So here, I'm gonna dodge down. Nope. Miss my Q. So we see Wukong here in the top side. It is pretty difficult to punish, but... Alright, we got his sums. So here I'm gonna go look for some fruits. I have one potion. I'm gonna get level six maybe, I'm not. So I'm gonna look for some fruits here, getting an advantage just from fruits. Yep, I'm gonna get fruits and then I'm gonna stay. I don't wanna base here because they're in terrible condition. So here, I'm just gonna W back into lane and I just wanna push. We can get a one wave advantage here from pushing. It means that they will lose a wave. And because their Wukong is showing, um, I'm just gonna base here. Their Wukong is showing that. Uh, I mean, I, I can stay if we're looking for a play. I can look here. I'm Wing. I'm looking. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna try to get the. Okay, we weren't able to get it. I'm gonna take my recall here. I don't really want to do this dragon myself. I don't want to help because it's just kind of a waste of tempo for me. Waste of tempo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my recall and because their mid laner is dead they should be able to get the dragon without me. Um, and then I'm just gonna go back to bot lane. And they have no flash because they just used it so now I'm looking to pressure their bot lane again. We might need to wait for my ignite before we can get another kill in the bot lane but we might just be able to whittle them down slowly. We have static shiv, full item, to nothing. So it is a good timer to fight, but we do have to keep in mind that their Wukong was bot side. So I will ward the lane here. I do wanna try to avoid dying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up here, I'm gonna W, and then I'm gonna ward this bush too, because Wukong could easily be there. So fighting here is not the best. So we're clearing vision, clearing vision. Want to get a ward here. Alright, so now that we've sniffed out Wukong, I'm going to go ahead Q here. Okay, we got his W. Just going to poke. Just poking. I'm gonna E. 
Alright, so we got his ulti. Running mid here, looking for a gank. I'm looking, just gonna cheese here, sit in a bush. They have no ultis. So here, just gonna wait for the minions, W. Oh, I missed every ability. I probably should have flashed. I didn't think that he would play it like that, like the enemy team. I definitely think that he would be more responsive and just instantly jump away. Here the Yumi is disrespecting a little bit, so the Yumi is going to die. There we go. Now I have a full item in base. Top side is fighting. Looks okay. So I definitely misplayed that 2v2 bot. That was my fault. My ADC shouldn't die there. Um, because I could have E flashed. I had ignite so I didn't want him to get double value out of uh, cleanse. I didn't want him to be able to cleanse and uh, jump out and then I wouldn't reach my ignite. So that is that is my fault. So no worries. My ADC didn't make a mistake there. Let's not blame anyone else. So now I'm still looking to just pressure bot lane. I have a, a full item, while their ADC might not have their full item yet, or their support doesn't have either. So I'm going to look for maybe a hook over the wall here. So I want to give my ADC uh, single, single man plate because it's much better than to share it. So this three ADC is hovering the right side, I'm going to look for a hook. I don't have R yet. I'm going to look for an ulti here though. Yep. So now I, I'm a little scared here. I'm going to flash. I'm dead. Their Wukong flash too. Wukong flash. That's a shutdown. Second item, looking to get Yumu's. I didn't really want to die and give the Yumi the shutdown. Like, I could have just fully killed the Yumi, but I didn't want to give her a shutdown. But she ended up that she still got it, which is okay. We got Wukong Flash at least for it. So now I'm just gonna go Bloodsong in this game. I'm gonna ward. I do want to try to cut off this Yumi here, see? So now he's here. So now this Yumi's dead. So now in consequence, their AD might die, but he might also not die. I'm gonna try pulling the wave here. Alright, so it's that thing. We want to focus the dragon, which is understandable. Do want to get this turret somewhat though? Um, we missed. Oh, there's a ward here. I do want to look for the Yumi again. Okay, we found the Yumi. That's a little disastrous. He got the last second of heal from the Yumi. But we got his sums. So even though we made a mistake, there's still something good that came out of it. More positive outlook on the match, you know? Make sure that 
even though we make mistakes, we aren't too hard on ourselves because the game is still totally winnable even though we make mistakes. And also remember that your teammates are humans and they also make mistakes. So here I'm just gonna look to, I'm gonna E, Q, and then I'm just gonna run behind him. So like this, perfect. Now we got, we got his ulti here. We were not gonna lose too much HP for it. We got a free ultimate. Now we're looking to get Herald. We're looking to get top tower. We're looking to maybe give this bot to it. It's okay. It's okay to give. We're gonna get a Herald, just this tower, it doesn't matter. We might be able to even get a top dive here. Maybe the Fiora face checks. Oh, looks like the Wukong is face checking. Where is he? He's dead. Perfect. See, we get two kills. We are gonna get this top turret. We're gonna get this Herald. All of this, why? Because we decided to give up the bot turret, guys. Because the turret is completely useless. We don't have to care about any of it. Use your tempo to play for objectives, right? That is the main lesson in these videos. Use your tempo, your support tempo to play for objectives. I'm gonna ping my Gragas here to get this Herald because this mid kill, completely useless, guys. Completely useless. You kill him, your tempo is not even that good. So now we're gonna get the Herald, and now look at this, guys. We have, uh, we still have a top turret to play for. I thought we were gonna be able to get it, but we haven't gotten it yet. So next objective is this top turret and the third dragon. I'm gonna hold this mid wave here, pull it to my ADC. I'm gonna show again so that the minions come back. And now we are first to top. See, we see their Yumi, we see their I'm gonna get him. He's dead. No worries. We get top turret. This is how easy it is to play versus Yumi. This is why Yumi sucks, okay? You can always just have a numbers advantage. I mean, this Yumi is pretty bad. He should be on his jungle at this point of the game, but he is not, so we're taking advantage of it. So see, now we're getting another Okay, they got a kill, guys. They got a kill. Wow, good job, guys. Good job, enemy team. You got a kill. Did you get an objective from it? For it? Nope. You got completely nothing. So here, I'm just gonna hover one time, but I'm gonna ping to not get this hurt, not get this, because getting an inhibitor before 20 minutes is very, very bad. You're looking to help. That was close. He might be dead from the bomb. I'm gonna tank the Yumi Q in case. Well, that turned out to be very close. We almost were able to kill him. Probably if I E flashed again, but I don't really want to use my flash for these types of moments, you know? I want to keep it for a more meaningful fight. That fight, even though we killed the Tristana or anything, it's just like an ego fight, you know what I mean? Uh, so now it, now I have flash for this dragon, a more important objective is spawning. So yeah, now I just want to keep my flash for this and so I, now I can play super aggressive, I can flash out of a sticky situation. Whatever I want, I can do in, in this type of scenario. I'm gonna look for maybe something. Touch the, touch the charm. Wukong might be looking over the wall, so I'm gonna ward. And I'm gonna go help out my team here. Ward, uh, we should come for this uh, dragon, guys. This is the third dragon. Oops, I used my item by accident. I just want to sweep, make sure that we see them. And I'm going to just hide in the bushes, okay? As Pike, I'm going to hide in bushes. Make sure the enemy team doesn't see you. They're going on mid, this is fine. They're killing them. They're killing our ADC. But we're getting the dragon. Totally fine, guys. So here, look at my hook, maybe. Completely miss. That was a massive whiff. Maybe look at this one. Easy peasy. So see, for Dragon, what they decided to do is they wanted to trade our top tier one for the Dragon. Which is okay. We say, okay guys, trade it. I'm happy. 
I am happy. I'm gonna ping my mid uh, my jungler here because this is very risky. I do like Axiom Mark this game, or um, maybe Edge of Night. Anyways, both both the items are pretty good at this stage. Well, I'm very strong, so no matter what my items are, um, it will not be too important. It's just important on hitting my spells and not dying, making sure that I'm alive for team fights and those types of things. Why did we just become blue? Oh, blue buff. That was cool. I never saw it. I never noticed that. I didn't know there was like a an electricity current when. Uh, so here we see Wukong, we see everyone, we see Tristana, I'm gonna ward again, yep, wanna keep the vision active. We do wanna be able to pressure the Baron um, if they do go bot lane, so here they used one blue trinket, my jungler's basing so I'm also gonna base. I can look for a kill here actually. He just used bomb. Oh, I need to. F oh, wow. That was unfortunate. So the Ari got my shutdown. That's alright, guys. We made a play. Now we're getting something back for it. I died, but we're getting bot tier 2. We're getting mid tier 2. Ari has no R. Life is happy. Well, we used a lot for that, honestly. I don't know if that's <laughs> that's necessarily worth it, but, you know, we take it. We take those. Boom. Oh, we are smurfing, guys. My team is doing really good. Wow. Maybe we can get a little Baron Nasher action. What do you guys think? We can get it, no? This fruities. Let's come hit the Baron, guys. This thing is dead, even though you're low HP. Easy peasy. Now guys, we are holding tab. Hold tab. What do we see? A dragon. A dragon in 1 minute 33 seconds. What does that mean? We are going down to the bottom side. So mid to bot, we should play 4-1. Uh, but our top laner is going top, which is okay. I'm just scaring him off here. I don't want to lose my HP or risk anything. There's no point. So this is looking like a 1-3-1, one, one. okay. Uh, so this scenario is the riskiest because anyone can get caught anywhere. But it is not bad because we have Baron. So what he might do, he might just push, yep, yeah, and then he's going to move. He's going to move to us, he's going to base, he's going to try to link up. This is a good decision by him uh, because now, that, now they, the enemy team has to reply to this wave. They have to make sure that they're farming. But uh, this is uh, a an, maybe an over chase here, so we need to be careful. So see, we see Wu Kong. I don't want to die here, so I'm just staying back. It's not the greatest play, so I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna look for a play on the back end though. So now that they're very low, I'm gonna hide in a bush. Hide on bush. I'm gonna look at their mid laner here. Oh, boom. 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 This is how you win. You didn't show. I didn't show. I didn't show what my team was doing. So now we're gonna... That's it. We're gonna get this. Um, and then we're gonna get the dragon. We're gonna get the dragon soul. Can we end? Maybe we can end, honestly. Oh, Urgot looks really OP. Well, we can definitely end. I didn't expect that, guys. I'm gonna try to bait his... Perry, boom, we were able to end. I, that was an oversight by me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
and uh, I'll see you guys on the next type of video, okay? Have a good night.